Well, a San Fernando Valley business owner is fed up. Trash from a homeless encampment is piling up outside his shop. That's right, Pat. Even though he's tried to get help, nothing is being done. He owns a tuck shop on Londelia Street near Tampa in Northridge. And KKL 9's Rick Montanez is live there tonight with more on the mess and other businesses that are sharing the same problem. Rick. Yeah, Pat and Juan, the small business owner, says the problem has been going on for two years. L.A. Sanitation actually responded today, but he says it is certainly not enough. A blocked sidewalk, out in the open drug use, and illegal parking. All are contributing to a drop in tuxedo rentals and income, according to Azar Man owner Human Micah. This is what we see when we enter during the day and when we leave. And instead of focusing on the business to make the business grow, we have to be calling. Micah says he's called the police. He's called his local council office and other city departments. He's trying to get them to remove the items collecting on and sometimes blocking the sidewalk. He posted photos on Facebook asking for community help, which is how we found him. Micah says the ongoing problem is also keeping customers away. Right now, there are two RVs on the street, along with an old car and a van, all Occupied. It's not just an eyesore, it's, it's also really a health issue at this point because we have people doing drugs, we've, we've seen prostitution, we have seen it all, you name it. And it's not just the tuxedo business. Across the street, the owner of an auto shop says he lost his top customer. And then this church right next door, the congregation says they don't feel safe here. Every night on my way home, there's eight people sitting here that are just so blown out. They don't even know you're walking by. Metro Church Pastor Brian Cashman is no stranger to homeless outreach, but he says parents don't want to drop kids off for events at the church because of the encampments. And women's ministry programs moved off site because they felt unsafe. It's an uphill battle because, again, the city's not doing their part. They have seen city crews and police respond and even offer housing or assistance to the people living there, but they say more needs to be done. We are in touch, but uh, nothing really has been done. A problem they want to see dealt with compassionately and quickly. Both men also want to see the RVs, cars, and vans towed away from the scene. Councilman John Lee's office, this is his district, his office tells me that LA Sanitation responded back in May. They responded today, and there's another scheduled visit in August. Reporting live in Northridge, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. Rick, thank you.